welcome to Chewing the Cud. Ooh, look who's back, it's me, the love child of Les Dawson and a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Here with a fully laden sack of showbiz loveliness, quirky stories plucked from the furthest corners of the internet, and of course our opus magnum, which is our life lesson. But I'm not alone on the giggle train. I'm joined by my co-host, the man who's caught more things in his fly than I've had hot dinners. It's Mike. Um, I'm not sure that's true. You've had a lot of hot dinners. Because if you think, Cheeky you know, a hot dinner seven times a week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like 52 weeks a year. Uh-huh. 704 years. <laughs> Oh. oh, and I've been lighting a few candles and soaking in the bubbly hot tub of frothy foaminess that is the internet to bring you some stories, including an update into someone's love life. Mm. And I have some hot showbiz news, including the return of everyone's favourite animal collector. And you can always see what we have been sharing just by heading over to our social media. Just search for at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv, and if you want to listen to us do this show as a podcast or watch us on YouTube, have a search for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. That way you get a little ding when we slip something uh, 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 online. I mean, get your minds out of the gutter, people. And if you have interacted with us on social media, then have a look. You may see your name on screen right now. So, Mike. I know you faithfully favour a flavour of fiscal fecundity famously fabricated from favourite factoids, but surely synergenistic stereotypes suggest separation of seasonable scheduling since several seminarial sacrificial scriptures support saporious sentencing, and more to the point, have you got a new car? I think I just need something bigger in the rear said the actress to the bishop. We know what you want. You want an enlarged hatchback. It's for the <coughs> dogging. But well, I don't own a dog. Let's put a muzzle on that image and play. Game of the week. Okay, and how long has it been dripping for? Have you spoken to a professional? I just think it's coincidental that you only happens when you're supposed to come on the... Okay, see you later. Well, that was the producer. Sadly, he can't be with us today. He says when he woke up this morning, his old fella was sitting in a damp patch and he couldn't stop the drip. He said he might have a nasty crack, so there's also a frightful smell coming from his overhang. So while he moves his dad into another room and calls a roofer, let's play a game. This week we're playing straight acting, and this is one for Mike to play, so mince away to your box while I explain the rules. Off you pop, unhook yourself, mince away. Our random scene generator is going to spit out some scenarios for Mike to dazzle us with his theatrical ability. Mike secretly wants to be a thespian. Are you ready, Michael? gonna fire me. Okay, so first one. Okay. Maybe Maleficent. My mononym may make my most. You can only speak using the letter M. Yes! Well wow. done you! Wow! I gotta, gotta go on. The next one. Okay. Right. Mm. And here we have the lesser spotted homosexual finding its way across the savannah in a pink Cadillac and high heel shoes. Is it you sat in your living room window just commenting to the world going by? No. No, okay. Um, and here we have a meerkat Famous for going on price comparison websites and trying to get you to buy things. Is it David Attenborough mm. um, narrating adverts? No. Oh, that was quite a good guess, that. It was a quite a good guess. You got part of it right. So David Attenborough. Uh -huh. mm. A tired David Attenborough. Not tired. 
Ford. Opposite tired. Uh, uh, when are you not tired anymore? Awake. When you've flapped. So what are you doing when you're no longer set up? <sighs> you've got a buzzer. I woke up thinking I'm David Attenborough. Oh, okay. I did not get that. No. Alright, you ready for this one? I am. Okay. Oh, it's sunny. I'm going to start this. It's sunny. It's sunny. It's sunny. It's raining. <laughs> You're an umbrella. Yes! <laughs> Ella. 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 A. A. Would you go, go ahead, next one? I don't believe that's true. What? Uh, it's not a what thing. Are you being disagreeable? No. Why would I be disagreeable? Are why, you, why, why are you telling me untruths? Are you not believing? Are you, you've gone paranoid again. Why are you lying about that now? Are you... Are you... Um, are you channelling your Hollyoaks acting techniques? Hollyoaks acting? When have you been telling people I've been Hollyoaks acting? You're answering a question. And every... Everything I say. It's not easy, is it, when you can't eat the butter? <laughs> <laughs> everything I say, you're answer, asking, answering with a question. No. Everything I, I think that what you're saying is a lie. Oh, I did not get that one either. You did not get that one either. <laughs> Do you want to try the buzzer again? <laughs> right, okay, so now you know it how works. it works. Yeah, okay. Next one. Next one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, 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 ah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is it foreplay? Yeah. Um, oh. No, it's not. Of course it's not. <laughs> um, ooh. You're a monkey. Where do monkeys live? In the jungle. Where the... locally do they live? In the zoo. Yeah, I'm in the zoo. Oh, the... that was it, was it? Right, so the next one. Okay, the next one okay. is... Okay, um, no one needs to look down there. It's it's not a blister, um, but I don't want anyone to see it. Got a micro penis? No. 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 Um, it. I just need to give it a squeeze and a pop. But it's it's down there. Genital warts? No, you don't pop them. You get them frozen off. Gonorrhea? No, it's it's just a little one, just one on its own. Just give it a bit of a pop. A zit? Got a zit on your dingling? Yes, I have a pimple on my winkle. Oh, nice. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> are, are, are there any more? Have you got there, any more inside there's some you? More, there's some more inside me, yes. Are you ready? Yes. Can't see me. Can't see me. You're invisible. I'm invisible, yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Next one. Doof, 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 doof. <gasps> That's amazing. You're an EastEnders cliffhanger. I'm not an East Enders Cliff, I can know. <laughs> Tiffany is my favourite person. Um, and um, I love Sharon, who's, whose son is in the kitchen eating a biscuit. You're a, a mega East Enders fan. Yes. Oh. Oh, we're doing really well at these yeah, today, aren't we? I'm, yeah, I'm on a roll. Yeah, with bacon. <laughs> okay. D43. That's the best impression I can do. All right. And Mike is currently in the swimming pool. Oh. Um, it's Big Brother Jamaica. <laughs> D43, Mum. <laughs> it's like, because that's what I heard. <laughs> it's a Big Brother voiceover bloke. No, no, no. No, it's not. No. And Mike is in the pool. Are you having another bath of loneliness? You're in the you're in the pool at the Big Brother house. I'm in the Big Brother house, but you just missed out because it just buzzed off. Oh, took too long for that one. Ooh, I'm gonna put the willies up here. Ooh, ooh, dad. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can't. Ghost dad. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I'm going to stare at you while you wee. Ooh. A ghost of the toilet? <laughs> no. 
I'm going to stare at you while you wee. <laughs> That's just, I heard I'm going to watch you do your shopping. Ooh. Just a ghost. Yeah, I'm a ghost. Oh, just a ghost. Just a ghost. Oh. Yeah. Confusing by going to the toilet kind of thing quite quick. Well, well, ghosts would watch you go to the toilet. They don't just hang around the, the bedroom and stuff, do they? No, Mike. They don't. Yeah. Well, that's just... Yeah, let's just say that happened. Soon we will have one on notorious life lessons. But next it's Lee with the Showbiz News. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time we speak to the man who puts the fabulous into supercalifragilistic expialidocious. It's Lee with the Showbiz News. Doesn't have fabulous in it, you illiterate f. That's a bit harsh. Ooh, eyebrows. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh. You like a musical, don't you, Mike? I like a musical, just one. Just one? What just is... one, Lame is. Is that it? Nothing else? Oh, and Phantom. And Phantom? And Ooh. not even a Mamma Mia or a. Oh, not a Mamma Mia. No. no. Oh, no. Listen to Abba. Listen to Abba. Okay, all right. Um, well, <laughs> there is there's a new musical coming out now. Oh. Hot on the sort of trail of it's a sin. Mm -hmm. um, there is a, a new musical mm. called Cruise, Gay Eighties. And how are they spelled? Cruise, C R U Z. No, C R U I S E. Oh. Why does that does that There's make a difference? It's a called Cruise. Oh, okay. That's yeah. what I thought. Okay. Well, in Cruise in Manchester. Yeah, but I don't think it's about the, the nightclub in Manchester. It's yeah. We've got a picture of of the the flyer here. So it's going to be it's, it's set in 1980s London. Okay. During the height of the AIDS crisis, mm -hmm. as well as kind of what happened after the kind of height of the the AIDS crisis, and it's written and performed by Warhorse star Jack Holden. Okay. Who is is a very good actor, mm -hmm. um, and it's a one man show. So it's just him, nobody else. Just I him. I think that's what a, a one-man show yeah. might be, yeah. Yeah, and it tells the story of, of a man called Michael Spencer who decides that after he's been given a diagnosis of HIV, mm -hmm. he's going to go out with a bang with, with his life. He's just going to kind of go for it. He's going to like do all the things that he's never done. However, it turns out that he outlives the prognosis that the doctors mm -hmm. give him. So then he's kind of had to, to look at kind of how he rebuilds his life right. and all the stuff that he's already kind of like done. Um, and it is inspired by a true story. All right. So it sounds really, really interesting. It's going to be opening in um, London, mm -hmm. and but it's one of these that you can stream. Oh, okay. So, you can, so if you can't get to London, which not many of us kind of can at the moment, you can see it on... Um, on the on the streaming, that's the official. On the streaming, yeah, that's the official hand on movement. The streaming. streaming, yeah, yeah. Um, so it, it it basically says it's a play as a tribute to a generation decimated with HIV and AIDS, a memorial for the old days of Soho, a celebration of electronic music, and an excuse to dance. Oh. We, need, we don't need an excuse to dance, no, no, do we? Just we like, want to dance. Yeah, I just want to dance. Um, so that's good. That's something else positive to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Next bit of news. Very, very excited about this. So, Louis Theroux, the documentary maker. Thorox, yeah. No, it's not Thorox. It's Theroux. It's Thorox. No, it's not. You've, okay. you've, you've tried to do this to me in the past, saying that I was saying things wrong. Do we have to talk about that country that I can't remember the name what, of? What? Qatar? Qatar. Uh huh. Qatar. No, yeah. not, not Qatar. Qatar. <laughs> so. Anyway, he has announced, Louis uh -huh. Theroux or Thorox, whichever way you uh -huh. want to say it. Louis Theroux, um, yeah. He, that there is a new Joe Exotic documentary being put together. All right, okay. Very exciting. Very exciting. exciting. So he um, originally made a documentary with um, the Tiger King. We've got a picture uh -huh. of him here, which was kind of pre sort of empty in. The, the massive documentary that, yeah. that was it. So he kind of like kind of went and did his um, documentary all about how he lived his life and stuff. Um, hours and hours of unedited, unused footage of that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be called Louis Theroux, The Cult of Joe Exotic. And it's going to explore what happened over the next decade since he made that original documentary. Is that ten years old? That documentary. Yeah. Um, so he he so at the moment mm -hmm. 
he, Joe Exotic is is a, is a twenty two year prison sentence. Okay. Um, for for con- got, so if it was ten years ago though. No, so the Louis Theroux documentary was ten years ago. Oh right, yeah. okay. Not the current not the, one. Not the Tiger King. Not the Tiger King. Right, one. okay. Um, so he, so Louis Theroux said he spent eight or nine days filming at the park. It was two thousand and eleven. Mm-hmm. Um, and he, he'd forgotten how much stuff that he'd shot, um, and he just said, even then, mm. he was strange, but would have never really? kind of expected that what happened since happened. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so that's coming. It's going, uh, yeah, it's, uh, that's exciting, because I, I, I like Tiger King. I like it with that. Tiger! Yeah, I like that. Um, but he's also, not Louis Theroux, but Joe, Mm-hmm. He is writing his official tell-all memoir in crayon, in in, in tiger poo. <laughs> um, I think he'll be writing it in crayon. Do you think he'll be writing it in crayon in prison? In prison, um, it's going to be published in November, so not that you know this year it's, it's okay. happening. And he said um, it's going to be a truth tell book. Everybody that ever's done anything good is going to be in there, mm-hmm. and anybody that's got bones in your closet, you better look out. Well, I've had a bone in my closet before now. I've been boned in a closet, but that's a different story for another time. <laughs> okay. You you... Tell everybody you've been you bottomed in a cupboard, is what I, you've I don't said. Need to, I don't need to go into details. <laughs> so, so I tell you it's a story for another time. Let's move on. Um, <laughs> <fine>. <laughs> the lion, you're my bitch in the wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Shh. Marvel, they've announced that a gay teenager is going to be cast as the next Captain America. Ooh. So not actually a film, so it's not in, a, in film version, but it's in the comic book. I don't think they call it comic book, though, do they? They call it graphic novel. Graphic novels graphic or a novels. hardback comic. A awesome. hardback comic. Yeah. So it's going to be called, so we've got a picture of it here on the screen. So it's going to be called United States of Captain America. It's coming out in summer this year. Okay. And what's happening is so that the character that we've got on the screen here is going to be called Aaron Fisher, and he's the latest sort of like character to take on the the, the title of Captain America. Okay. So what happens is it's kind of like Captain America travels across America mm. visiting people. Okay. In their homes at night. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. So he, he's 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 <laughs> popping his finger in the mouth. Let's... Leaving a note, I watched you when you slept. Um, <laughs> it's like, going, are you asleep? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not doing that. He's not. So he, he, as he travels across America, he meets people that kind of are called... Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> Open-mouthed people. Open-mouthed people. They're called the captains. The captains, yeah. okay. So for, for every sort of episode or book, mm-hmm. there will be a different person that kind of takes on the role and he'll kind of like... Um, bum them. <laughs> I don't think he will. But we can, we can yeah, we can all... We can mentor hope. them, is what? Yeah, he will mentor them as, as Captain America before he moves on okay. to the next thing. So um, he's, he's basically got Captain America and he's doing it as a franchise agreement. Yeah, so that's it's, what you said, yeah. No, that's, that's what you say. That's what you're saying. Is that what if I'm he's, saying? If he's going to lots of different people and saying, hello, you're Captain America now, um, and teaching them how to do it, that's a franchise agreement, yeah. surely. Yeah. So basically turning Captain America into yeah. McDonald's. Because it's into McDonald's. McDonald's, um, yeah. Yeah, well, it, apparently he's, he's had his, his shield stolen. Okay. So somebody's stolen it, so then that's why he's going across America to try and find it. Okay. So he's, like, going to places and going, have you seen shield? And they're going, no. And he's a teenager. Well, no, Captain America is Captain America. Right. But the teenager is one of the people that he right. meets. So Captain America is going across the United States of America. Mm, looking finding, for rough trade. Finding boys and saying, you're Captain America as well now. Yeah. It's a bit dodgy, that, isn't it? It's a little bit dodgy. Yeah. That's the next level up from going, do you want to see the puppies in my van? Oh. Um, yeah. Well... I think it'll be better written than that. It's oh, just because our sordid minds that are thinking. Our sordid minds, yeah. Yeah, thinking that. Um, the artist that mm. created the characters, um, Jan Bazolda. Um, Who? <laughs> Jan Bazolda. Okay. I could, I could be saying that wrong. I don't know. Um, well, something I've noticed on these pictures here. 
Yeah. Right? Is that there's a random arm just hanging yeah, midway through the I don't really air. know what that's about. I th is that just kind of showing you what the costume's like? What, just a random arm? Yeah, I don't really know. No. I don't do comics, so I don't know. Okay. So, um, <laughs> so the the person that has drawn it mm -hmm. is openly gay themselves. Okay. Cool. So it's kind of like using their platform to kind of highlight people who are invisible in society. Okay, good. So that's good. Do you, will you really be going and buying it? No. No. I, I don't buy comics. Do you not buy comics? Do you wait for the film to come out? I, it depends who's in it. Oh. Um. So I like Chris Evans and Chris Hemsworth. Mm. Are there any of those in the pipeline for this year? I don't Chris know. Hemsworth in the pipeline? Well, that's a, that's a wishful thinking moment. Oh, there. yeah. Do you think that, you know, it's getting a bit too much marvellous <laughs> at the minute? We're getting too much Marvel. Some people could say you could never have too much Marvel. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like any of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I can't really give that, yeah. I, I, have, I have friends that love it all. They eat it up. Nyum, 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 nyum. Um, yeah, nyum, 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 nyum. Can't get enough of it. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I think, if, well, as long as there's a market, mm -hmm. there'll be people who buy it. Okay, mm. cool. That, that is, yeah, that was, on that very sensible note, mm -hmm. that's the end of the showbiz news. <laughs> well, thank you for that, Lee. Coming soon, we have the next of our life lessons. But before that, we have Mike in the buzz. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now, are you sitting comfortably? Are you quiet? Don't make any sudden noises. Don't want to scare him away because it's time to go over to Mike with the buzz. Shh. Not a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing that, I was doing that Jack and Ori voice. You know, the, the, the guy that's just done the sexy Jack and Ori story that was in Middleton. Bridgerton. Bridgerton. <laughs> Dead current, may I know it all? <laughs> Not the place between Manchester and... and um... Yeah. <laughs> it's proper sexy. I can't remember what he's called, um, but he's, 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 had all the, he's had all the ladies moist because he's just done a story like that, like, hi, hi, children. <laughs> Okie dokes. Well, I've been having a, a, a rummage around the internet mm -hmm. trying to find some, some light-hearted things. Didn't find a one. It's all quite dark and perverted. Oh. Um, first time, you love a bargain, don't you, Lee? I do love a bargain. Love a bargain. Mm. And, and you also like to, to shave your body, like your face. I, I do shave my face. Yeah, yes. it's part of your body. Yeah. It's not detached. I tend to leave the taint just to grow. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit like ZZ Top down there, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, how much do you normally spend on a razor? Oh, um, well, I buy um, um, ones from uh, Discount. <laughs> discount supermarkets. Discount supermarkets. Because yeah, they're much cheaper mm -hmm. than um, the brand ones. They are indeed. Yeah. yeah. Now, I know that you love a bargain and that you go to the, the, the discount supermarkets. Yes. But there's a warning. Is there? Yes. And that's be careful when you're buying your razors from the, those places. Oh, why? Because a gentleman has used one and had a massive chunk taken out the top of his head. <sighs> Ooh. So he's lodged a complaint against Poundland, claiming that the one pound razor cut a chunk from his head. Let's just say one pound razor and leave it at that. That's all we kind of need to know about that, don't we? Would you like to see his head? Please. Yeah, okay, shall we see his head? That's what he means by a chunk. It's not that much. It's not that bad. He's just nicked himself shaving his pretty yeah, much. Yeah, you can't like see his brain or anything like that. No, you're expecting a big chunk. Yeah, like, like, like a flesh. Big fleshy Yeah. Chunk of... Moistness hanging out of his head. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, but yes, um, this is Alex Hollins from Newcastle Underline um, in Staffordshire, who said he was bleeding for half an hour. <gasps> Poor lamb. Oh, so he's like, I want my pound back, please. Oh, what is it? It's, it's, it's actually fully lodged a complaint with them. <sighs> um, Powerland have come back with um, a response. All right. 
um, saying that the razor is not supposed to be used on the bonds, basically. On the bonds? Yeah, Just don't on use it on face. your head. Um, the skin around the head is closer to the bone than the skin on your cheeks. So if you're using the razor close to your bone, be very careful. Yeah. Yeah. See, I have a lot of flesh everywhere, so to be fair, there's not a lot of bone I can feel. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's a story for another day. That's a story for another day. Okay, so should we move on a little bit? Yeah, just yeah. just tiny little bit. Just move away from the haven. Haven. Bone. Yeah, so we've got another story now. All right. Mm -hmm. And this is quite a serious story. Okay. All right, serious face. Not sad face, serious Not face. sad face, not serious sad, face. Uh, not sad, serious. For a brow, okay? And this is about a thief that has been apprehended stealing from a local shop. What's he been stealing, Mike? Um, this lady. Oh, it's a lady. A lady. A lady thief. Um, had stolen a bag of baby bells, okay. a star bar, and two sausage rolls. She got them out of the shop up a minge. What, what are you saying for? You're just jealous because you can't do that yourself. Just take the Christmas turkey out and just be able to fit more in. I mean, I personally, I begrudge. You know, I, I, I very rarely remember to put plastic bags in my pockets when I go shopping. Okay. So I do, I kind of know where she's coming from. If you haven't got a plastic bag and you didn't have enough money to buy a plastic bag, uh -huh. you, you, have, you do have to improvise. I would have paid for them before I shoved them up a minge. That's just me. Yeah. Um, but, you know, well, well you know. <laughs> <laughs> you were about to say well done her, weren't you? Oh, what's that? <laughs> well done you for having a massive minge. <laughs> um, yes, so uh, Brenda Dixon um, um, from Crew. From Crew. Yes. Okay. Um, wasn't Brenda Dixon the name of a, a singer? Barbara. Barbara Dixon. Barbara Dixon. All right, okay. I think, so, I think Brenda's a sister. Times have got hard yeah. for her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Royalties are dried up. She can't show. Yes. Um, she was arrested after causing a, a boozy disturbance outside of the, sh outside of the shop. Oh. So she had a couple of drinks as well. Right. How did they discover that she got all that stuffed up her? How, Mike? How? Um, after a subsequent internal investigation... An internal investor. Is that, is that normal practice? I think it might be. Well, if, if you, you sat there, if you think about it, you've got two sausage rolls and a star bar. Yeah. And then a bag of baby bells. Yeah. Right? You're going to be walking funny, aren't you? <laughs> I don't think that's our first time at the rodeo. <laughs> I don't I think... think so either, but still, that's a lot to fit up there. <laughs> uh, you know, if you think you can fit babies up there and babies come out of there... So it has to, it's quite stretchy. I don't know. I'm not talking from experience. I don't go down there. <laughs> but I, I just just wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> I just, <laughs> just so <laughs> I can't go with it. It's not stretchy as stretchy as you think because it it rips as it opens. And they have to put stitches in things. Yeah, not not every single time. No, but quite often. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I hope she's I hope her lessons learned now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be careful not to put the sausage rolls in the stout. Actually, what sausage rolls are quite squishy. It doesn't say I don't oh. have that story of what she waited first. I would have thought you'd have started with the, the, the longer stuff. So like the star bar. Okay. And then the sausage rolls because they're a bit squashier. But we don't know if it's a full sausage roll or a mini sausage roll. You mean like the party ones? Party roll. It's party it's sausage. Tiny little, yeah. little bite size yeah. like sausage rolls. It didn't say party sausage rolls. No, oh, so we're, we're going with a full on. Full on normal sausage size roll. sausage roll. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not, not like a tub of mini sausage rolls. No, no. But she didn't two. shove a, back a basket of baby bells up there. Well, she did. Mm. Yeah, so. Yeah. Um, so well done, her. Yeah. I'm going to invite her to my next picnic. <laughs> Can't find my hamper. Woodoosh! <laughs> That's it. Tuck in, lads. <laughs> well, um, and if you have something to share, and Pat from Peterborough, if we wanted to see things like that, we'd look at specialty websites, thank you very much. Just look for At The Cut TV on all of the usual social media services slash platforms. And that brings us quite happily over to the story of the week. 
Yay. Yes. He's far too excited for this. Um, and that's a story about, remember our buddy Builder Friend Jury? Oh. Who married Margot the sex doll. He did, and then ruined her. Ruined her to pieces. Ruined her to pieces. Um, and I spent Christmas on his own because he had to send her away to oh. hospital. Yeah. Um, well, he has confirmed recently that he has been cheating on Margot oh. with a, what we'll say is a bizarre object while she's getting repaired. You say bizarre? Mm hmm. He calls it love. He calls it love. He calls new wife. Yes. Yes. Would you like to be introduced to the new wife? Uh, uh, yes, very much so. Okay, I think we've got a bit of a video oh, have clip got a, here. Have we got a video clip? Hello, guys. This is my new wife, Lola. I like it. Oh, she's a chicken. Oh. By the way, uh, this real hair. Uh, so, Lola uh, has... A woman had wiped her mouth and a body of chicken. I wanted to uh, her such wife, and I'm ha happy that uh, that I have now her. Love is a beautiful thing. Love is a beautiful thing. It is, yeah. But it's also a little bit disturbing. It's very disturbing. The stroking of the hair, the brushing the hair, was a little bit of a highlight for me. Yeah, he says, the story behind this is that at Christmas, when he was feeling lonely, because mm -hmm. Margot had gone to be repaired, yeah. he he got it on with an actual chicken. Mm -hmm. Not a real, not a live one. Not a live one, a cooked one. Well, not a cooked one, yeah, sorry. Ready, ready, oven, ready. Yes. And that, I think that's where he found out that he would like a chicken wife. Uh-huh. Um, so has um, <laughs> had her specially created. He has got her specially created. Um, and he goes on to say how, how special she is um, because she has an attachment in her belly button that can turn her from his girlfriend into his boyfriend. Yeah. So, yeah, there's hope yet. For us all. For us all. Yes. Um, so if, if you're, you're lonely out there, just dress as a giant chicken because you can get yourself a, a nice bodybuilder. Okay, thank yeah. you for that, Mike. Um, I'm going to go out and get some packs out later, see what I can come up with. You're anyway, getting stuffing at least. <laughs> and that's all from the buzz this week. Well, thank you, Mike. Um, I feel dirty, and that's good. Anyway, don't go anywhere, because coming up soon, we have our life lesson. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time for us to cross over the smelly bridge so that we can entertain you as we give you a life lesson. Life Lessons. I heard someone call that the fun buzzer the other day. The fun buzzer? The fun buzzer, yeah. Press hard enough, it's fun buzz. Don't know. Okay. Yeah. Um, you like to read, don't you? I do like to read words mm -hmm. and, and sentences. And people. And people. And people, yeah, because uh, yeah. reading is fundamental. It is. Yeah. Um, but do you ever get halfway through a book and go, I need to just put this down for a minute and get a cup of tea? I do, Mike. Indeed, I do. <laughs> what, what did you think I was going to say there? I, I don't know. <laughs> but yes, but I, to be fair, I don't really have real books anymore. Do you not? No, I don't have physical books. Oh. I have a Kindle you. <laughs> what have you done, Whitley? No, the man just... who has a gramophone in his car. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just like a Kindle. You know what I mean? Okay. It's just so convenient. Oh, okay. A Kindle falling on your face uh -huh. from a height when you're when you're falling asleep <laughs> is much less hurty than a full-on book dropping on your face. Okay. Well, today we're going to make book bookmarks. Oh, okay. Can I put so, that on a candle? Yeah, you can put it in, put it on the Kindle. It'll be fine. Ram it in between the. But, um, but these are monster bookmarks. Monster bookmarks. Monster bookmarks. Oh. Yeah. Um, so you should have in front of you some paper. I do. Yeah. What colour monster would you like? I'm going to go for pink. I'm going to go for a pink one. To I'm make the boys wink. Green monster. I'm going to go for a green monster. Yeah. So first thing we need to do is turn this piece of A4 coloured paper into a square. Oh, I thought you were going to say, well, first thing we need to do is to turn the beat around. But we're not, we're just doing the paper. <sighs> right. And the best way of doing that is to just make it into a point like this. 
What are we doing? I missed all that. So we're making it into a square, because you're too busy going disco on me. So you're going to be doing this, Lee. You're going to create a flap. Oh no. Yeah, folding and cutting, your favourite activities. That is that, is that way, is that the right way? Is that it? That's it, and then you're going to snip off that piece there, so that, that oblongy bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Getting anxiety. You're getting anxiety? Yeah, because they, they, these always make me anxious. I, I've chosen the easiest one we could do. Okay. So we've got that. Triangle. We don't got need triangle. that anymore. Don't need that piece anymore. Okay. Okay. So you should have it with your um, open end at the top. Yes, I do. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to fold this corner up to the middle. Don't know how to do it. Got anxiety. Which which way? <laughs> You've got your point. Yeah. yeah. And then you fold your bottom right corner up into the middle. Oh. Okay. So it reaches the top. Okay, 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 yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I can do that, I can do that. Good. And then you do the other side as well, the same. Do that. Okay. So you now have a smaller square. Yes. Okay. Once you fold it up like this little square. Yes. Yeah. Just unfold your flaps. Okay. So you're back to a big triangle. Yeah. And then your top bit, yeah. you want to pull down, but just a single piece of it. Just a single flap. Into the middle like okay. that. Okay. Okay. Is everyone going, following this at home, do you think? Why are you asking me? I don't know what they're I doing. I said, do you think? Oh, sorry. Well, I'm asking <laughs> for your opinion, Lee. Not psychic. <laughs> well, I go, I go, mm. um, I, I, as much as anybody's done any of the other ones. Oh, okay, fine. I think they are. Yeah, they're doing exactly the same as we yes. did last week's. Okay, so once you've got your, your pointy flap, yeah, you're going to move this corner, your bottom right corner. Yeah. Okay, you're going to tuck that in and under. Okay. So it looks like that. In and under. Spot on, well done. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> I should do it right. Now do the same on the other side. Okay. So now you should have a little pouch. Yes. Yes. Okay. So when it's this way up, we need to give it some facey bits. Okay. So we need to give it some eyes. Where are their eyes? We're going to make the eyes. Oh, okay. Let's give it some eyes. So you should have a piece of white paper. I do, yes. Okay. And then just fold it in half so you get, you can do both eyes at the same time. Oh, okay, yeah. And then cut out two little circles. Why have I got a pair of meat scissors? <laughs> what do you mean, meat scissors? Meat scissors, these two for cutting meat. <laughs> what kind of, what do you mean, meat scissors? They're kitchen scissors. Meat scissors. Oh, kitchen Meat scissors. scissors. <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> Did you just hurt me with a pair of kitchen scissors? No, but the meat scissors. Because the meat, because the... Oh, <laughs> I can't, I can't go there. I can't go back. No, can't do any of it. Okay. <laughs> then, once you've done that, it's going to glue some eyes on. Oh, mine are a bit big. Just take my giant meat scissors and chop them down. <laughs> What's it? They're not meat scissors. <laughs> They are, because that bit there is to, uh, is to, to open... crunch the bones of the meat. No, it's oh. there to open bottle tops. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were meat scissors. <laughs> <laughs> no, because do you know what they also call meat scissors? Use knives. Knives. <laughs> you cut meat with knives. <laughs> Not in my house. Yeah, I can imagine. And once you've got your little white circles, you need to give it pupils. Okay. Were you a crafty, crafty child? I was not a crafty child. You were not a crafty no, child. No. I used to get caught doing everything. Caught doing everything? Yeah, crafty as in sneaky. Oh. Oh, oh so I did oh, that. Right, okay. Right, I've, I've got eyes. Okay, and then we just need to do some teeth. Some so, teeth. with a bit of your white paper, oh. just draw, just cut a, a jaggedy, toothy shape. Monster-like teeth? Monster teeth, yeah. Okay. Do they have to go all the way across the mouth? It's up to you, it's your monster, Lee. And then when do they get glued? And then they get glued under the front lip. And then all we need is a book to put it on. 
But I don't have a book, Mike. Would you like to borrow one of mine? Oh, please. Okay, we have a choice. So you can either pick GB stamp album. It's in from full colour. So yeah, we've got that one. We have the 1982 Touring Guide to Britain. Wow. So you know where so to take your recent. caravan. Yeah. Yes. Or something I think might be more up your street. The Haynes 1981 to 1995 Fiat Panda Manual. Oh. Do you know what? Mm. I'm, I'm going to go with the travel one. You're going to go with the travel yeah. one? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Were you, were, you, were you born in 1982? 83. Why do you own this then? Were you a very advanced child? Did I was you go a very advanced child. Often at the yes. age of 12 months? Be before being born, I used to hitch up a caravan. Oh! Uh, and take myself touring, yeah. Before you, before before you were I was born. born. If you look at it, from St. Michael with the AA. St. Michael, Marks and Spencers? Marks and Spencers. Oh, it's the old name. Yeah. I'm going to go for the Fiat Panda. There's not going to be, if I flick these pages, there's not going to be any unfortunate thing stuck between them, is there, Mark? There might be a naked photo or two. There's not nothing, yeah. But to use your bookmark, you just find the page you want to bookmark. Oh. Where do I, oh, where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? Oh, I want to go to the Vale of Berkeley and the Seven Valley. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, but, but I don't want to read about it now because I can't be bothered. I've got things oh, to do. Busy, can't be busy, things busy, to do. busy, busy life, busy. Busy. So you can't get that on the Kindle, so you need no, to. No, yeah. no. You can't bookmark it on the Kindle by just pressing the button. No. No, you can't get that book on the Kindle. No, well, I don't think this is still in print. <laughs> it's not going to be in print, no. Usually, I, I'm surprised that the, you know, the Natural History Library has allowed you to take it out. The Natural History Library, that yeah. well-known library. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So how, how would I mark the musty smelling page <laughs> of this book? <laughs> you would just pop your little, pop your monster on the corner. Oh, on the corner? On the corner. Oh, my word. Let me try it. And then it saves you space for you. Oh, and then, then, then you just close it. You just close it. And your monster will bookmark your page. Oh, that is, that is, oh, that is... It's amazing. A genius thing, isn't it? Is, it? It's ingenious. Yeah. Why have you put it so you can't see the eyes when you're looking at it? Oh, sorry. Was I was I supposed to put it the other way around? Yeah, because if you think that's that makes more sense because it's looking at you when you put the book open. Ooh, there we it's go. A monster on the. What's that coming over the page? It's a monster. But that's all for your life lesson this week. Well, sadly, that's almost the end of the show this week. But like the worm in the bottle of tequila or the mug of gin you secretly drink in the kitchen at 3 a.m. to try to forget how empty your life has become, we have just enough time to remind you we are at The Cud TV on social media, thecud.tv for our website. And while you're on the website, have a look at the support section for exclusive clips, including outtakes. Stay safe. I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.